dashboard is the central location you're directed to upon logging into your eBoss database system. All the main navigation for your eBoss database is on the left hand side. Each main area, such as candidates or clients, is clickable to navigate to from this area. If there is an important subsection for an area such as candidates, then you can click on the drop down arrow to the right of, for example, the candidate link and navigate to other related areas. In the centre of the dashboard you'll see some drop down panels that can be opened and closed by clicking the drop down arrow on the right hand side. The first one being the setup checklist. And here you'll find a list of handy links for setting up your company profile, your user profile and these contain things such as your email signature and so on and other areas that are handy for you to set up the database before you start using it. These can be checked off and then click save the checklist once you've set up that area. The calendar can also be dropped down and closed back up again and here you can click on a date and quickly add a new calendar event to your eBoss system. The statistics panel shows you your internal status and your linked or external status. Here you can see candidates that you've received CVs for, candidates you have interviews lined up for. Clicking each of these links will take you into a filtered screen of candidates displaying the candidates that are on interview for example. Metrics is coming soon so we won't cover that in this video. You can also search your eBoss database direct from the dashboard in the top right. Simply enter a candidate or client or contact name that you wish to search for or a job title and then click on the required candidate to go direct to that record. From the navigation menu on the left, if you scroll down you can see upload a CV. Here you can browse for, select and then click pass CV for a document on your system to add that candidate direct to the candidates area.